Today I'm going to show you some really cool gift wrapping ideas. Perfect for Christmas. You can use a radiator like this as a handy wrapping paper dispenser. Just sit a roll on top and pull out as much as you like. The radiator holds it in place. If you've got an unusual or difficult shaped item to wrap up, it can be hard to make it look neat with conventional paper. So instead you can take some tissue paper, place your item in the centre, then just scrunch the paper up around it like this. Then use a length of ribbon to tie off a nice neat bow at the top. It's really easy and it looks great. If you've got a present that you want to wrap some ribbon around, but you haven't got any, all you've got is one of these bows. You can carefully remove the staple holding it all together, and uncoil the bow to give you a load of ribbon. Perfect for wrapping up the present. And I curled the ribbon over my scissors to make some spirals. And there's plenty of ribbon left over to use on another gift too. Once you've wrapped up a gift, you can also use strips of paper to decorate it. I pulled this strip over my scissor blade, like this, to make a nice curly spiral, same as the ribbon. And I'm sticking two of these to the top of my gift with a strip of tape. Rearrange it slightly and we've made our own really easy paper bow. Pretty cool, huh? You may have seen my previous video where I showed you how to make these really cool little gift boxes. Well, today I'm going to decorate this golden box to make it Christmassy. I'm using a length of this sticky strip, which I stuck down onto the centre of the box, and removed the backing. Next I'm using a roll of this thin green ribbon, and zigzagging back and forth up the sticky strip to make a Christmas tree design. When I got to the top, I cut the ribbon off and stuck on a star. And we've got this really nice handmade Christmas tree gift box. Once you've finished wrapping up all your presents, you can keep your paper rolls neatly together in a suit bag. And hang it up in the wardrobe for convenient, easy access storage. And as a bonus tip ready for next year, Instead of storing your fairy lights bundled up in one big knotted ball, you can use a clothes hanger and wrap them around that instead. And store them together with your wrapping paper. Next year, instead of having to untangle a big knotted ball, you can just unwind them from your hanger and they're ready to use. If you want to be notified every time I launch a new video, you need to subscribe to my channel, then click the little notification bell. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you want to see more, you can click on the links or take a look at my YouTube channel page. Stay safe, have fun, and as always, thanks for watching.